my god, yo. What are you effing serious? Hold on, let me drink my tea, y'all, because this sh Only honey, no sugar, by the way. I'm not even going to do my intro on this because this is scary. This is my home state, y'all. Born and raised in Illinois. I have family out there. I got friends out there. And you mean to tell me they're thinking about, in a way, implementing the purge? I got to check this out, see if this shit real. You know how, you know, the news and, you know, YouTube and all these other social sites can, you know, can exaggerate a little bit. This can't be real, y'all. This cannot be fucking real. Because I'd be calling my family and telling them, man, if this shit is going down like that, they need to get the hell up out of Chicago. That's going to be one of the main fucking cities in, like, in Illinois. That's the main city. So that's why I got Illinois on the screen because, yeah, I mean, I should have put Chicago on there, I mean, instead of Illinois, because Chicago is one of the main city, cities in Illinois that everyone talk about. Now, nobody talk about them other towns in Illinois. If that shit is really going to happen, it's going to happen in Illinois. I mean, in Chicago. Oh, my God. I'm a little worried now, y'all, but I got to check this out. Let's see what the hell they talking about. I hope this shit ain't for real, y'all. Shit scaring me a little bit. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Every horror fan knows that Purge movie and that countdown that I love. Those films explore a frightening concept where any and all crimes is legal. This dude just said a countdown he loved. Hours straight and police will not respond. Now, people in Illinois are worried a new law could become a gateway for the Purge to really happen. It has taken root on social media and is spreading like wildfire. Really yes. have a new law in Illinois, but again is this with safe true? Tea. Will it lead to a type of purge? While we love a good scandal here on The Factor on Simpson, we don't like misinformation. So we dug deep. Tonight we talk about the Safety Act in Illinois. The law takes effect in January in 2023. Let's get our discussion going. You're the guy with the gun, the person who would do anything to protect the ones you love. But, did you know you could go to jail for simply doing the right thing to keep your family? So Charles, many people are comparing the change in law in Illinois to the actual purge. What exactly is going on? Explain that to the yeah, viewers right, this before shit. they're misled. Well, the, the analogy to the purge is a little ridiculous. And there was a, a mayor in Illinois who was saying that this law would prevent law enforcement from removing burglars or trespassers from your residence or your home what? or your business. And that's not true. There's nothing to support. How the fuck do he know it's not true? This what the hell a mayor saying? That's not the Illinois mayor. Though. I mean, I don't know. That's not Chicago mayor. I don't know who the fuck that is. That sort of reactionary extremism. But it is a very, very bad law. And it's another example of criminal justice reform that is really just an abandonment of law-abiding citizens and victims and putting criminals in the driver's seat in America. And of course, they also have named it the Safety Act, right, S-A-F-E-T, uh, that is obviously another example of and something Democrats and Republicans both do, but the Democrats have been doing it a lot lately, of naming legislation something that it doesn't at all do. In fact, it makes Illinois less safe. And then what it's done is it stripped the judges of the discretionary analysis designed to allow them to set an appropriate bond on an appropriate charge. And for a frightening number of charges, it basically says they have to be released, including 
murder. What? So what it is is down. What? What? Murder. You mean to tell me a law is about to go into effect where they can actually get out on severe charges? Like murder? And no wonder they saying the purge is coming. Because these fucking uh motherfuckers out there in Chicago, like anywhere in Illinois, ain't gonna give a fuck about getting arrested. They're gonna get out. So why not commit the crime? Wow. Wow. Stream from we used to have a paradigm in Harris County where people, poor people, would sit in jail for things like driving while license invalid or other <laughs> misdemeanors that are not particularly consequential. A lot of drug crimes, right? And where people without the money would just have to take a plea or rob. And that was absurd. And it's something I saw. I became a, the presiding judge for a city in Harris County in 2005, I believe. And I immediately introduced PR bonds for all classes. I don't care what nobody fucking said. That's just these greedy motherfuckers trying to not spend as much money. Because, you know, it costs for each inmate to stay in jail. It costs a lot of money to keep them in jail. They trying to find ways to, to keep more money in their fucking pockets, man. These fucking uh, politicians. That's all this shit is about. They trying to find a way to keep more money in their pockets. They don't want to spend too much. So they decided, oh, we just gonna make this new law starting fucking January 1st, 2023. Wow. This is sick. If they put this shit into, man, I won't vote for none of them. Fuck all them motherfucking politicians, Democrats and Republicans. Because people always say Democrats is like this, Republicans is like this. Don't forget, they all, all of them, all of them are crooked to me. They are politicians. It's all about the money, you know what I'm saying? This some bullshit. I swear, man. My family in Chicago, y'all better get the fuck up out of there. Or get a new security system. Or go get your motherfucking gun license. Because if they're allowing this shit to happen, then there shouldn't be no investigation if you blow a motherfucking head off if they try to break into your crib. There shouldn't be no investigation. Because they're allowing these motherfuckers to get out. They're able to do that type of stuff and get out. What's gonna stop them from committing that shit again? So I, I've asked motherfuckers, yeah, out there, go get y'all shit. Go get, I'm telling y'all, go get y'all shit. Go get y'all license. Protect y'all house. Protect y'all apartments. Protect your families. Protect, man, just protect. You got to get your shit now. This shit is dangerous. And it's probably, and that's just starting. If this shit do go into effect. That shit is going to spread out to all the other fucking uh, states and cities and all that shit. It ain't going to just be Illinois. Illinois is the first. You know why? Because it's like the violence is so bad out there. They can't keep affording to keep them motherfuckers in jail. It's too overcrowded. It's too overcrowded. I already told you what they should do. Build a motherfucking uh, jail on one of them fucking islands out there. Send all them motherfuckers over there and keep their asses over there. They send it, man, they got all this money for these these athletes, fucking millions of dollars, these CEOs making billions of dollars, these companies making billions of dollars. You mean to tell me they ain't got the money to make jail sales on one of these far out islands somewhere? Just send them motherfuckers over there. That's how I feel. See warrants, right? Because why should people just sit in jail for days and days and days on a traffic ticket? It's absurd. But that pendulum that was way over here then has now swung way over here now and where you're seeing like in states like new york already you're seeing this revolving door where people are committing worse and worse crimes and just walking out within hours and it's a horrible thing so while it's not the purge it's an awful awful thing for illinois and for america and it's most certainly not the appropriate reform we need no Trump. minnesota we can't take anything for granted this year including our freedom to vote Steve Simon has Charles will the judges lose the ability to have a no bond on someone who they think is very dangerous like we do here in Harris County if someone is assessed oh, a as a very dangerous individual uh, who's a repeat offender they have the option of saying no bond 
So in Illinois, Illinois was like most states in that you gave the judges the opportunity, the discretion to look at it, what is alleged to have occurred, look at the history, and define whether or not they believe there's a there's a likelihood that they won't return or a danger to an individual or a community, right? And in Texas, that was pretty much the same three-prong analysis, except for the fact in Texas, we have a state constitutional right to bonds. We actually have a greater right to Texas to bond than, than most other states. But in Illinois, it's created that on January 1st, there'll be this new paradigm where it strips judges of discretion mm -hmm. and mandates release for things like kidnapping and, yeah, and, and murder and Fuck robbery. Yeah, yeah. And they have to show a specific threat to a specific individual. So let's take that is a specific threat, wife, right? Mm -hmm. Well, his anger was just directed at his wife. And well, she's dead now, so he's not a threat to anyone else. So they got to release him. That is the literal map mandated by the what? statute, and it's insane. And it's just, a, and what they talk about, the, the Democrats that push this, they talk about equity, right? And of course, there was, like I said, the old Harris County system was unfair to the poor, and it impacted people of color more than anyone else. But what we're doing in America now is we're telling, because crime is almost all socioeconomically and racially homogenous. White people commit crimes against white people, Hispanic people commit crimes against Hispanic people, black people commit crimes against black people. That's just the date, right? And period. So what I'm gonna stop it right there, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't I can't continue to watch this shit. I can't. I seen enough. I heard enough. I'm sorry, I apologize. I can't uh uh that's they ain't gonna do them but piss me off <sighs> wow this is the world we live in now man this we need to just i wish we could just go back to the 90s early 2000s like this this is just pure fucking insane and craziness what the hell are these people thinking with these laws what makes them think that's gonna make anything better. That's gonna make it a thousand times worse in Illinois. Chicago, man, y'all get ready. Damn. They fin oh, my God. Just imagine all the motherfuckers that's in jail right now for those uh for killing, for raping. I mean, all type of shit they gonna be getting out. All my family out there, man, I hope y'all look at this shit and go on there and finish watching the rest of that interview. I just couldn't deal with it no more because that's some straight BS. I know for a fact. Well, I was never going back to live in Chicago anyway. Now I know for a fact I'm never going back out there to stay, period. Especially after January 1st, it's a wrap. I go out there and see my family that same day. Get the hell up out of there. That's crazy, man. Now, oh my God. I cannot believe they making this a law. Oh my god. Y'all hit me up in the comments, let me know. Y'all can't even fathom this. Like it's just running all through my head right now. Like that shit is pure crazy. I'll talk to y'all later.